Good afternoon, Year 3. Uh, it's time for our next history lesson. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, what it was like as a life for a Stone Age person. Uh, at the end of this video, uh, there's going to be a quiz which you can find in your assignments. And these are the questions that are in the quiz. Now I thought I'd show them to you at the beginning of the video so that as we go through, you can keep an eye and an ear open for the answers to these questions so that you can pause them. Uh, you can pause the video at any point and go to answer the questions. Um, the, some of the questions you will need to type your answer in. So you will need to have the correct spelling, otherwise you will get the answer wrong. So if you want to write the questions down, if you want to write the answers down while you're watching the video, uh, then you can do that, copying the spellings carefully. Uh, or if you want to um, pause the video at any point so that you can go across to the quiz to answer the questions, then please do so. So feel free to pause the video now so that you can copy the questions. And if we're ready to start, then let's go through. Let's have a look. Let's have a learn. So today we are going to be looking at what people in the Stone Age ate. That's the first thing we're going to look at. So having a look at all of these things, which of them do you think would have been possible for Stone Age people? And what do you think is a more modern invention? So we've got fish and chips, uh, just plain fish, bread there, uh, pizza, pieces of meat, berries and nuts. You're going to have to think back to the video that we watched last week. OK, so have a little think and then let me show you. These are the ones which were not eaten by Stone Age people. Um, and if we think about what these things have got in common, all of these need to be cooked. So whereas all of these things you can find or hunt, so you would find these, uh, out in the forests and the fields uh, and you could hunt uh, animals to get their meat or uh, hunt for fish by fishing to get these fish and then you would be able to eat them as they are with all of these three things you would need to cook them now although stone age people use fire for heat and to uh, keep away wild animals at night they did not use it for cooking. Okay, that was a later development. Okay, so these three things, Stone Age people did not um, cook their food. Okay, now last week, uh, you watched a video about life in the Stone Age. Now I have put a link to that video in, um, in a, your assignments. So if you want to rewatch it, just to remind yourself of some of these things, because it is going to be important for today's lesson, then you can do that. And in that, we saw some of the things that uh, Stone Age people ate. So we saw that they ate fish. We saw the different uh, deer, boar, and uh, ancestor of the cow that they were eating. We also saw uh, them going out into the forest to collect nuts and berries. So these are some of the things that Stone Age people ate. So thinking about that, why do we call people in the early Stone Age hunter gatherers okay that's what we call them hunter gatherers and why do we call them that because of the two ways that they got their food they hunted food whether it was with spears uh, to catch land animals or using spears to uh, catch fish uh, they would hunt their food or they gathered their food now gathered is just another word for collecting the things that you find outside OK, so they're not growing these things. They're having to go to the places where they grow naturally and uh, collect them there. So that is called gathering. So that is why we call people in the early Stone Age hunter gatherers. OK. Now, let's think a little bit wider, not just about what um, Stone Age people ate, but how they lived. And to do that, we need to think about this word community. Now, the word community is how we live these days. It means that we live among and alongside other people. 
So we live, we don't live totally out, completely on our own, maybe in a house with just our family. We don't do that. We live with other people near us. So this question, why do you think that is? But if I think if um, if you didn't live in the Burn Grieve area, um, how would your children, how would you learn to read and write? You need people near you who can do that um, teaching. That's the teachers. So you live near people in a school who do that teaching for you. Where would you get your food if you didn't live near shops with people working in the shops to help you um, get that food to eat? Uh, where would you get your clothes from? Um, how would you get better if you became ill? You need people around you to fill different jobs and to do different roles in your life. So that's why we live in a community. Now, if you have a look at this picture of Stone Age people, you can see that actually, um, this is around 10,000 years ago. This is an artist's idea of what uh, life looked like for Stone Age people. You can see that we've got a large group of people. This is not just one family. These Stone Age people are living in a community. So why are they doing that? Well, they're sharing their food. This per these two people have been out and have hunted a deer. Now, all these other people behind them aren't doing that. So they wouldn't be getting any food if they didn't have some people in their community who went out to get the food for them. You can see there's people in the background fishing. Again, these people wouldn't be able to eat any fish if they weren't sharing the food with them. Look, so what else is going on? I can see this person skinning an animal. So it might be collecting its meat, might be using its furs to make clothes with. But this person cutting into wood to make tools. Okay. Now, if this guy is spending his day making tools, that means he's not going to have any food unless these people share the food with him. On the other hand, these people, if they spend their day collecting food, then they're not going to have any tools that they would need to be able to collect the food. So these people have to share with each other. <coughs> Pardon me. Blimey. OK, so these are they are all doing different jobs. They're doing the jobs that they are good at doing and then they share with each other. So they make each other tools. They share their food. This is why Stone Age people lived in a community, not completely on their own. So if you have an image in your head of Stone Age people living in a cave completely on their own, that's not true. They lived in larger settlements with a group of people living together. OK, so how do we know that they were hunter gatherers? Well, archaeologists, which, if you remember, uh, they are people who study history through the things that they found, have found this evidence, these clues. This tells us that Stone Age people were hunter gatherers. What did they find? We've seen these pictures before. They found a knife blade, which was made from flint. So this is a knife blade. Uh, this um shows that they were cutting things that they were skinning things that's all there a hand axe again used for chopping for chopping meat meat so this hand axe is also used as evidence that they were hunting things and a spear tip which was made from an antler now uh spear tips are used to throw so that you can throw them they will spear your animal and bring it down so if they had these things, then they must have been hunting their animals for food. OK, we've got somebody here who says ah, people in the Stone Age spent all their time hunting animals, gathering berries and nuts and finding places where they could sleep. All those things are survival things, aren't they? This was all that was important to them. They did not do anything else. So he's saying Stone Age life was hard. The only thing you could spend your energy doing was surviving, finding food, finding shelter, all that mattered to them. That's this person's idea. Well, we've got evidence that actually there was more to it than that. So have a look at this. So archaeologists have also found these things. 
So we've got an engraving of a horse on a piece of bone. We've got a headdress, which is a kind of hat made from antlers. And we've got these pieces of cave art. Now, this guy said that all they did was hunt and find places to sleep. But this evidence shows us that they must have liked and enjoyed other things as well. Drawing a picture of a horse on a piece of bone doesn't help you eat. It doesn't help you find somewhere to sleep. It's, it's done for enjoyment. Maybe you want, you're enjoying making a picture. Maybe you're sharing information with other people. It hasn't got a really good practical purpose. What it's doing is, is just sharing things, okay? This headdress, putting a hat on that's made out of antlers doesn't help you get more food. It doesn't help you find somewhere to sleep. So what's the point in doing it? Well, clearly they wanted to do it, must have used it for something, but it wasn't fun finding food and it wasn't finding shelter. So Stone Age people must have done other things as well. And these pieces of cave art, well, they're done to decorate where you live. Well, it doesn't help you find somewhere to live and it doesn't help you hunt animals. It's, it's just done to make things look nicer. So we know from this evidence that Stone Age people did have more to their lives than simply hunting food and places to sleep. Okay, right. Remind you again, these questions, true or false, Stone Age people cook their food. Talked about that at the beginning of the video. What is the name we use for Stone Age people which tells us how they got their food? I gave you that name in the video. True or false, Stone Age people lived in communities. We talked about whether or not they lived in communities and why that was. Name one tool which archaeologists have found which proves that Stone Age people were hunters. I've shown you three tools that prove that. Um, true or false, getting food was the only thing that Stone Age people cared about. Again, I've just talked about that. Name one thing Stone Age people made from antlers. So again, that's in this video. Be careful because especially questions two, four and six, those ones, you need to spell them correctly. So I recommend you go back to find the answers in the video and write them down carefully before you try answering the questions in the quiz. Okay, good luck.